Welcome to the Superhero Answer Bureau, the show that gives you the answers you can't find in the comic books. I'm your host, Luke Laser, and with me, as always, Professor Mark Clark, who holds a Ph.D. in comicology. Now, we're going to begin tonight with a discussion of the sexuality of superheroes. Now, this is a subject that's only hinted at in the comics, yet it's an area of great interest, at least it is to me, which brings us to the first letter that we received, first question, your Superhero Answer Bureau. Now, <clears throat> If Superman became sexually aroused, wouldn't his pants break? <laughs> After all, he is a man of steel. Professor? No, no, no. Superman's pants would not break because, you see, underneath yeah. his pants, he always wears his uniform. Of course, yeah. Uh, this would contain any uh, arousal problem that he might have. Mm. He may walk funny. But uh, I can definitely say that there would be no bursting pants. Well, okay, this, what about the whole issue of safe sex in Superman? I mean, it seems to me certainly if he, if he wore a condom, it would, it would have to break. I mean, isn't, isn't that true? Well, this is a difficult issue. Basically, we don't believe that Superman is very interested in sex. Hmm. I mean, if he were, he'd be using his x-ray vision constantly. <laughs> he pose all sorts of radiation risks. I mean, after all, if you'll recall, his motto was not truth, justice, the American way, and scam on chicks. Okay, right, right, right. So what you're saying is that Superman is voluntarily celibate to concentrate on crime fighting. More or less, yeah. Okay, great, fine. Now let's move on to our next issue, and this is the duplication of superpowers, which is another serious concern expressed in our second letter, which is, Dear Superhero Answer Bureau, what's the difference between elongated man, plastic man, and stretch from the Fantastic Four, and... What is the big deal about having this super ability? <laughs> There's not really a whole lot of difference between those guys, and frankly, it's not really the best superpower to have, but they make damn good outfielders. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and they can get things off of really high shelves. Okay, all right, that's, that's very interesting. Let's move on now. It's time to bring out our today's guest, a famous crime fighter, and also a big uh, uh, box office draw. Please welcome Batman. <laughs> Batman. Nice to see you, Batman. Yeah. Nice to see you, Batman. Uh, now, you, uh, Batman, you are not actually a real superhero, are you? Well, I'm not technically a superhero, but I like to think of myself as one. Mm -hmm. Come on, really, aren't you just a rich guy who can buy a lot of cool stuff, like a customized car, bat planes, that sort of thing? Oh, well, well, yes, to fight crime. But uh, wouldn't it be more effective if you used the hundreds of millions of dollars that you have at your disposal to get at the root of crime, better schools, uh, poverty programs, drug education? Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems to me that you come along when the problem has gotten completely out of hand, you just swoop in and bust heads. <laughs> but I like to swoop in and bust heads. That's why I do this. I help society and I get my kicks. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly how does Robin fit in with your kicks? <laughs> Well, just what is your relationship with Robin? He's my partner. Your life partner? <laughs> okay, I know what you're getting at. These vicious rumors have been going around for years. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there's nothing to be embarrassed about here. A lot of superheroes have been coming out of the closet. Just last week, Aquaman came out of Aquaman the closet. Aquaman came out. Look, the only reason I go into the closet in the first place is because that's where the damn bat poles are. I'm not gay. I wish people would just leave it at that. Okay, Batman, all right, that's, that, that's fine. All right, all right, well, let, let's move on to our, our, our super animal segment, okay? Now, today, we're looking at Rex the Wonder Dog. Now, Rex, as you remember, is the smartest dog in the world with mental abilities outstripping many humans. Now, he also... He's so smart, why did he chase the Batmobile for three miles after the last <laughs> superhero's party? <laughs> Rex possesses the intelligence to actually ride a horse. That's right. We've got a, we've got a shot of that. See, yeah, Rex yeah. can ride a horse. <laughs> it doesn't look like he's trying to ride that horse to me. Okay. Now, Batman, please. Hey, you try to stay in a room with Rex. After five minutes, he's on your leg. Of oh. course, that's better than hanging out with Spider-Man. Flip! He grabs a bottle of Jack Daniels. Flip! There goes all the scotch. Quite a party guy until he starts hitting you in the face with that spider gunk. He's like a kid with a can of silly string. Oh, he's, he's, he's having a hard time. After all, he was bitten by a radioactive spider. Yeah, now, come on, can we move on? Let's move on to the last question here. Okay, the last question is, how did Wonder Woman deflect bullets with her bracelets? What was special about the bracelets? Okay, Professor? I, I can answer that. Okay, there was nothing special about those bracelets except that when she dented them, she returned them to Nordstrom and got new ones. She, <laughs> she wouldn't go out with them. Oh. 
Okay, well, that, that's enough Batman. Okay, that's, that's all the time we have this week on Superhero Answer Bureau. Next week, our guest will be the Incredible Hulk, and he's going to talk about the steroid scandal that's rocked the superhero community in recent weeks. We'll see you then. <laughs>